Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHex.com. Today we're going to flash the Jetson TX1 development kit using Jetpack 2.0 to install the latest operating system and software tools. Let me show you the setup a little bit. This is a shark with a friggin' laser beam on his head. That part's optional. This is a screen that's connected to the TX1. So this is the TX1 side. This is a screen that's connected to a PC that's running Ubuntu 14.04. We will call this the host. So let's get started and download Jetpack. Open up the folder, downloaded to. Let's copy it over to our home folder. We should be good to start. Let's go look at the install guide. Okay, so we need to open up a terminal. Okay, so we have the component manager. This is a little bit different from the previous versions of Jetpack. What do we want? Graphics debugger. Boy, there's a lot of stuff on here, man. Let's install it all. Automatically resolve dependency conflicts. That sounds like a good thing. Let's see what the instructions say. Oh, it doesn't say to do that. Let's try not to do that. Next. Please read the license agreements. Okay. I'm just going to accept them. Be brave. Accept. Hmm, warnings. Okay. Oh, it seems pretty busy here. Multiple streams going. A lot of progress. I like that. So our host installation is complete, it says. Okay. Click next to proceed to post installation. Next. Please select the network layout. Hmm. Okay. 
Looks like it. Okay, looks like it's ready to flash. Let's hit next. Please put your device to force USB recovery mode. When you're ready, press enter key. Okay, let's do that. First, we need to shut down our Jetson. Shut down. Next, we need to get the programming cable. Comes with the kit. So one end of the USB cable goes into the host. Let me get a close up here of plugging it into the Jetson. Okay, the instructions say to place the system in force USB recovery mode. Power down the device. Remove the AC adapter from the device. So we'll do that. Connect the micro B plug on the USB cable to the recovery USB micro B port on the device in the other end to an available USB port on the host PC. Okay, we can do that. Connect the power adapter to the device. Okay. Press and release the power button to power on the device. Press and hold the force recovery button. While pressing the force recovery button, press and release the reset button. Wait two seconds. Okay. We should be good to go. So when the device is in recovery mode, you can run LSUSB, new terminal. LSUSB. And it should show up and there it is. So we're good to go there. This is exciting. Enter. Ooh, magic is happening. Cold booting the device. Here we go. All right. Okay, it looks like we finished up. It's running a few samples. jump over to the TX1 and run some samples, see what they look like. 